Welcome everybody to Mole Rat Nation. I'm Bob Carmichael and let's get started. Nitric Oxide or NO. My various attempts to raise my nitric oxide levels. Nitric oxide is used primarily by three areas of our body. The endothelial cells, the immune system, and the brain. This video will focus on endothelial cells. Our endothelial cells use nitric oxide to relax our veins and arteries in order to lower our blood pressure. Most of us, as we get older, lose the ability to make enough nitric oxide to keep our blood pressure under control. In addition, lower levels of nitric oxide have a role to play in diseases like glaucoma, erectile dysfunction, and cardiovascular disease. And this is why I've tried several times to find ways to supplement my nitric oxide levels. I started off several years ago using various amino acids like arginine and citrulline. I probably got enough of these amino acids in my regular diet since I am a meat eater. A portion of the amino acid arginine is converted into nitric oxide. Our bodies have a very good way of regulating how much arginine is in our system at any, any one time. That's why a lot of people use citrulline to get around the problem. Citrulline is converted to arginine in your body, and we were able to raise the levels of arginine by using citrulline instead. Although I could take citrulline and arginine as much as I wanted to without hardly any side effects, I don't believe it had any beneficial effect on raising my nitric oxide. The latest way to use these amino acids is AAKG, or arginine alpha-ketoglutarate. Bodybuilders use this supplement to increase their pump, the feeling they get after a heavy workout when their muscles are extremely hard. I doubt if this version works any better than the standard citrulline or arginine, but it does interest me because it is similar to a supplement that I am now taking called calcium alpha-ketoglutarate. This is the Brian Kennedy supplement that is called Rejuvent. Rejuvent has, in addition to calcium, 900 micrograms of vitamin A. In a clinical trial run by Brian Kennedy's company, some life extension was noticed. The big problem with calcium alpha-ketoglutarate is the price. $100 per month, although I expect that to come down. If I switch to arginine alpha-ketoglutarate, it should work just as well as calcium alpha-ketoglutarate. The savings would be enormous. I can buy the same calcium version of the product for 30 grams without the vitamin A for $29. And if I buy the arginine version in a bulk powder, the price drops even more. $26 for 500 grams. At this point, I should probably introduce one of the big experts in the field of nitric oxide, Nathan Bryan, PhD. Dr. Bryan wrote two really good books about the subject, The Nitric Oxide Solution, and his newer book, Functional Nitric Oxide Nutrition. The reason I haven't spent much time talking about arginine or citrulline is that Dr. Bryan mentioned in his books that nitric oxide synthase declines as we get older and it doesn't make any difference how much additional raw material is offered to the bloodstream. Your body won't make additional nitric oxide without nitric oxide synthase. Dr. Brian in one of his videos mentions that he used arginine and citrulline as a placebo supplement when he was testing his new products. He knew that they just wouldn't work. So if you are a young man you still have plenty of nitric oxide synthase, arginine and citrulline products will probably help you. But if you're my age, they're probably just a waste of time. So what does raise nitric oxide? There are a large number of ways, it turns out, to raise nitric oxide. Just breathing through your nose will raise nitric oxide levels in your body. There is a very popular series of calisthenics called the nitric oxide dump that you must do every day, three times a day, in order for the exercises to work. The famous Dr. McCullough has a video on YouTube that demonstrates this series of exercises. 
I know myself pretty well, and I'm just not going to do this long term. It's not a trivial amount of exercise, and it has to be done three times a day. I did it for a couple of days, and then I decided I'd rather have low nitric oxide. The future. Research right now on nitric oxide is starting to show some results. There is a clinical trial right now using a nitric oxide spray that doubles the level of nitric oxide in our bodies. The name of this company is Sanotize, and right now the interest in using a nasal spray has to do with the possible treatment of COVID-19. Some studies are showing a 96% decline in the COVID virus after just two days. Research is now trying to determine which type of bacteria in our mouth are the ones that convert nitrates to nitrites. But it turns out that there are many different types of bacteria that are involved in this process. I'm hopeful that progress can be made to improve the function of nitric oxide synthase so that we don't have to rely on secondary pathways like the nitrate, nitrite, nitric oxide pathway. But those things are in the future. So what do experts recommend to bring our nitric oxide up to youthful levels? Eat more leafy green vegetables and beets that contain high levels of nitrates every day. Be sure to get moderate amounts of exercise at least three times a week for at least 20 minutes. Stop using antiseptic mouthwashes that kill the bacteria that help convert nitrates to nitrites in your mouth. And this also includes not overdosing on antibiotics for the same reason. Stop taking antacids and other heartburn medications that lower stomach acid levels. Stomach acid is needed to make nitric oxide. And take nitric oxide supplements that provide the necessary nitrates for good health. That's what I should have done. Unfortunately, this is what I did. Dr. Bryan has licensed his patents to raise nitric oxide to a company known as Human with an extra N. They have come out with a product called NEO40 that is designed to raise nitric oxide levels in people over 40 years of age. In addition, they will sell nitric oxide test strips that work by covering the end with a little bit of your saliva. Then after you wait a few minutes, the color on the test strip changes to reflect the level of nitrate in your mouth. At this point, I should say that Neo40 product did work. When I first started using Neo40, my test strips were a very pale pink. And after a few days, they became darker, but not the dark pink that I was hoping for. I decided it would be a good idea to take additional tablets to see if I could get a better result. Nothing changed. No matter what I did, the test strips would not get any darker. I began to take additional supplements that contained L-arginine and L-citrulline in addition to the Neo40. I changed my diet to include a can of beets every day and a spinach salad twice a day. Still no change. Then the problem started. First nausea and then severe projectile diarrhea. I spent the next three weeks taking an emodium, eating lots of raw oatmeal and peanut butter. Eventually, my GI tract returned to normal. I now know the foods that are high in nitrates usually are high in oxalates, which can irritate the lining of my GI tract. The other concern about nitric oxide is cancer. It was reported in a study that nitrates and nitrites found in bacon and cured meat were converted into nitrosamines that are linked to cancer. Dr. Bryan thinks that these are studies are nothing but old wives' tales. But if you are concerned, you can take vitamin C with the nitrates and the nitrites to prevent them from converting into nitrosamines. I now have trouble taking anything with high levels of oxalate. So in addition to avoiding spinach and beets, I also now have trouble taking berberine, resveratrol, and curcumin. This makes finding supplements that raise nitric oxide difficult. I'm not satisfied with the results I got from taking Neo40. I plan on taking the Sanotize product to see if that would help. And I plan to do some experiments with sodium nitrite and potassium nitrate. If I find something that 
does a better job than Neo 40. I will do another video and add it to the playlist at the end of this video. It is hard sometimes to find playlists on YouTube, so be sure and click on them so you can find them in your history file. And join the nation. Click on the Mo Rat on the right and subscribe to this channel. I have no financial ties with any of the products mentioned in this video. Thanks for watching.